annual Taste of Lincoln Avenue is a four-in-one festival featuring wine and whiskey tastings, live music, a kid's carnival, and even a dog parade. And Mike Miller, owner of Delilah Chicago, joins us now with all the details and a little bit of a preview. Thank you, Mike, for coming in. Always a pleasure. Excited because you say of the three whiskeys you bought, two of them are brewed or distilled within a half a mile of where we're standing right now? Absolutely. We brought whiskeys today that represent the Illinois market. So at Whiskeys on Lincoln mm -hmm. on Saturday afternoon, mm -hmm. you can taste whiskeys from all around the Midwest. Okay. So Wisconsin, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, Iowa as examples. Okay. These two whiskeys, Maplewood and Judson Moore, they're a half a mile away. Very this way, local. This way. Yeah, yeah, very local. Yeah, like Belmont and Western, Diversity exactly. and Western River, all, yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. Third being from DeKalb. Okay, cool. With different kind of variables okay. that, we, that we can get into. And there's two seedings for the whiskey tasting, correct? Are correct. they both going to be from the same regions? The, the, the whiskeys will be the same. Okay. There's a three to five session. There's a six to eight session. Okay. So people can kind of choose. Some people come right off of the festival grounds. Yeah. Some people can buy their tickets in advance, and then they can come... And, and go as they please. Okay. You don't have to be there for the whole two hours. Mm -hmm. You get sample tickets and you go through. And what's nice is you're meeting the people who make the whiskey. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is cool. Distillers, you don't know, the distilleries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get that opportunity too often. And okay. you get to learn about them. Yes. All right, so let's start with the first one here. Okay, so we're gonna taste Judson and Moore. Okay. They're at the River, Be Belmont, Western area. Okay. okay. Okay, this is bourbon. Mm. Now what's different from bourbon and whiskey? So whiskey is the umbrella. Okay. So these are all whiskey. Okay. This is bourbon whiskey. Got it. Okay. And and the glass that's next to you, the actual bottle, what's in that? So this is a representative recipe of what is bourbon. In okay. particular, the Judson and Moore recipe. Okay. Cheers. No, cheers. Thank and you. it's Sorry. red corn? So this is Bloody Butcher Ooh, red mm. corn. Really unique varietal. Mm. That's nice. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. nice it's a very sweet. caramely, mm -hmm. yes. sweet. Yes. Yeah. Super drinkable. It's yeah, you're not growing. on fire. It's. Mm. And one thing that all three of us are doing. Yeah. Is we're chewing it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we are because we're yeah. mm. our tongues. Mm -hmm. We're chewing. Mm -hmm. And that's really indicative of really mel well made whiskey that has really good texture. Mm -hmm. Is is we're chewing the texture texture and the flavors are blowing up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're evolving. So the first flavors, middle flavors, mm. finishing flavors, mm -hmm. are all part of that experience of mm -hmm. drinking this. Okay. So it'll be bourbon. Okay. So the basic rules. At least 51% corn. Okay. okay. Super important. And then this is rye and this is malted barley. Okay. Mm -hmm. So most bourbon in, that's made is corn. This is about 70% corn. The flavor grain would be rye. Okay. That's mm -hmm. called the flavor grain. And then barley, which is part of the chemical process and also is a texture driver. Okay. okay. So a lot of the texture in whiskey from comes that. from the barley. Okay. It also has to be made in America. Has to be minimum two years old. Okay. Um, there's some other aspects of it, but aged in a new charred American oak barrel. Okay. So I brought so some let's... barrel stave oh, stuff. Okay. okay. So you can kind of get an idea. This is a mi obviously a mini barrel. This is how big the barrel would really get. be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's charred. And this stave right here, this piece of stave, shows how much Many the layers. whiskey goes mm -hmm. into yeah. the Look barrel over over time. Yeah. That's so mm -hmm. cool. You can smell it. Yeah. yeah. See, even though that's I, that. I okay. don't want to run Ready? out of time. Yeah. So we yeah, want yeah. to take these. We'll be here all day if I we know. want to. No, you know? this is good. Learn, this is the lesson that we've right. learned yeah, like, right. if we come to Delilah's, right? You can come to Delilah's and come to booze school every day. Booze school. You know, okay. We'll teach you about beer, wine, and spirits. School I'd actually do well in. <laughs> <laughs> so I got this, an A. <laughs> this is from the distillery in DeKalb. DeKalb. Correct. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this is Whiskey Acres. They're in DeKalb. Cheers. Cheers. This is this is rye whiskey. So, a little higher in proof. Mm -hmm. Oh, little, yeah. Woo! Yep. <laughs> it's a morning malt. It's a morning malt. <laughs> and so what defines rye whiskey is the kind of the opposite of bourbon. The rules are all the same, except at least 51% rye. Okay. So there's your corn percentage, mm -hmm. there's your rye percentage, okay. and there's your malted barley percentage. Got it. Okay. 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 Otherwise, Last rules but not are the least, we don't want to run out of time. No, no, no. And this is, I like the name, the pug. Right. Fat pug. This is leaving a, oh, this has yeah. left an impression. <laughs> well, we're going to get a little, little higher in proof on this okay, one, too. Right. This, you know. this, this is higher in proof? Uh -oh. Well, this is the sort of late morning malt. <laughs> okay. And this is from the place on Diversity? Right. So this is, this is Maplewood. 
that's good, good right? yeah so <laughs> maple wood and we can see here maple wood is a malt fire whiskey coming out of my mouth i don't think it's fiery <laughs> lord have mercy. it's a little chocolatey isn't it yes it's like cocoa it's like chocolate dessert, almost because what they do at maple wood is they're using malt all malt so we see here corn rye malted barley Corn, rye, malted barley. Right. This is all malted barley. Got it. Okay. And what they do that's really unique is they're making the whiskeys based on the. Look at the color too. Yeah, it's so much darker. It's so much darker. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Yes, it's beautiful color. Because the darker malts are, mm. make, are lending itself to that direction, and the way they age. So the color is dictated completely by the barrel. Okay. Mm. They're using some smaller barrels. They're aging in a really unique way, but those flavors are really driven by these seven different malts That's that are so in here. Cool. So what they do is they're making the beer, the fat pug, <laughs> right? I love it. And then before they hop, they distill it. Oh gosh. Super unique. You that is so talk cool. all day <laughs> right? with Mike. So make sure you come and check him out. Tomorrow and Sunday, he's at the Taste of Lincoln Avenue. Uh, tomorrow through Sunday, apologies. Tomorrow's Friday. Saturday and Sunday, tasteoflincolnchicago.com. Delilah's is over on Lincoln Avenue. Check them out. This is a good time. Yeah, thank Never you. Never short ladies. on conversation. No, right? See you over at Delilah's. Awesome. There you, you go. There. Thanks, thank Mike. You. Good to see you. Always thank great. You. Mike. Super fun. Uh-huh.